I think this is where they got out. We're gonna have to fly the drone to find them. Oh, I don't wanna cut this, but we're gonna have to, Mike. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, they're gonna try again. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to our Bison channel. Thank you guys for watching. This is Morgan, old Morgan Wild. Me, Mike, Marissa, and Brooks. We've got a herd check to do, and then we're gonna do something, something kind of sad, but we're getting ready to take Dunbar back to the original place. The OG where it all started for us. That's what we're prepping to do. I also wanna thank Fabric by Gerber Life for sponsoring today's video. there next to you. She's cute. It looks like we can't seem to find uh, the other half of the herd. We got some of them right here and now we're uh, gonna have to we're gonna have to go on the search for uh, for the other half of the herd. They've been doing this a little bit. They've been kind of separating. You've got the mamas with their current babies, and then you've got another group that hasn't had calves yet. It's kind of been two separate things going on. The bulls have been running by themselves. It's kind of been an interesting dynamic right now of what's going on. We're gonna head out. We're gonna drive the ATV, and us three are gonna go look and see if we can find the other half of them. Um, may go find, there's something that we've been recently seeing um, that Brooks is super excited about. We're gonna stop and take a look at those. Well, it seems like the calves are doing great in the hay meadow. You can barely see them because the grass is so tall. But we still can't find uh, the rest of the Big Joe herd. Could get interesting. Are there are other ones that are not quite ready to eat. Look, here's one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. As a farmer and as a rancher, you invest so much time in your farm, in your land, in your equipment. Something as parents now from Marissa and I that uh, we've never had to look at and never really considered, but setting up Brooks's future and then setting up an investment for her. We wanna make sure whether she wants to start her own business, she wants to buy some land, wants to raise bison, pay for college. We wanna make sure Brooks is in a comfortable place where she can do that. Fabric by Gerber Life was designed by parents for parents to make it easy to plan for and manage your family's financial path. With a kid's investment account from Fabric, you can start investing in your child's future starting today. There's also no commission, just a low flat monthly maintenance fee, and you can invest in your child's future right here at meetfabric.com slash bison. This was a simple no-brainer for Marissa and I. With Brooks, we can start investing in her for just a dollar a day. Setup just takes a couple minutes. You can do it all online at meatfabric.com slash bison. You can also manage and control your child's investment account all from your phone. Investment funds can be used for summer camps, band equipment, club sports, and the greatest part about it is when they're adults, they can even start their own business with it. Join the thousands of parents that trust Fabric to help protect their family. Start investing in your child today at meatfabric.com slash bison. Well, I think the herd is out. And if they are, I think this is where they got out. You make it?
so the herd I think is in this 40 ish acres not sure where they're at can't see them saw a sign of them but looks to me like there's no cattle out here oh maybe maybe not see some clippings grass clippings Mike's out here with me over there blending with the cattle well Mike spotted them over there hanging out with the cattle hopefully they're all together I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking about half of the herd maybe is over here to me is what it looks like but we've got the tracking crew here Bullet and Jackie. Let's see if we can get them back in there. Don't have a feed sack. May have to go get the truck. They know what that is. But I see them there, right over there. That's why the cattle are up there. They're like, what the heck are these? Well, there's the herd. They're on the loose. <laughs> They're looking for us. They, we spooked them a little bit. But I see some red dogs in there. It looks like about half of the group and Hoss. So Marissa and Brooks just pulled around here and uh, we're gonna see if we can find them. Hop in with Brooks and Marissa. Problem is, is we don't know where any gates are. It'd really help if the ATV could get in here because they respond well to the ATV or the feed truck. So they're hanging out. They're gonna, they're gonna hit. They're gonna. They want to go back to the herd. So our properties fence line is there where the tree line is that's where they want to go back to and we'll go over here and find marissa yes i do Silky, that's how you get eaten by coyotes, Silky. You can't even see him. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, he will. Okay, so now we are uh, headed to. We just got back up to the front of the ranch. We're gonna grab a sack of feed, um, or just a sack. We got the horses and stuff. And uh, Mike and I are gonna go back out there. Try it, see if we can. Uh, we've got a couple angles we're gonna try to shoot from, but we'll see. All right, well, girls just left. We had Brooks out there with us, and it's not safe to really do all that stuff with her. So she uh, she's going with Marissa, and uh, anyways, got this. We're gonna get some cubes out of here. I got this sack for our this is our feed sack that we found here from. Uh, that's what I feed. Uh, Morgan, so we got this feed sack. This one makes a lot of noise. We're gonna get our cube feeder here. We're gonna get some cubes in here real quick, just in case. Cattle feeders. All right. All right. So now we're entering nine acres. We've got this gate open. There's no animals in this 40 or this nine. Mike's going to shut it for us in case we have to come up through this corner here. We're going to show you. We've also got the drone. We're going to fly a drone, see where they are since we just left. But we're back out here now. See where they are. We may have to bring them in this nine acres, and I don't want them to go in this 40 yet because we need the whole herd, not just 
pieces of the herd. But I'm pretty sure it's about half, so. So what we were gonna, what we've got is uh, they're actually not very far from us. But the positive thing is that they are up next to the other herd, the other half, basically, which is a good thing. Um, we can get access to it. We're gonna go right down here. We're gonna get out of the nine acres and go right into the burn unit. And um, I think the only bad part is we're gonna have to cut a fence because this is why I always talk about this. Anytime you build new fence, this is a learning point here. Anytime you build new fence, whether it's a cross fence or it's your neighbor. In this situation, it's our neighbor. You always put gates in your corners. I will pay the extra dollar to get, to buy the gates to put in the corners and set all the H brace. I think it's important, Agreed. right Mike? So Mike agrees. I think Mike knows this situation too because he's built a bunch of fence um, out in Colorado. So um, we're gonna go through here. We've got cubes so we can get the main herd distracted. I think we're gonna cut the fence and see if their others will jump through. And it's a place actually where the fence is not great. So it's like patching a patch job, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So but anyways, we're gonna go do it right now. Hopefully it works. Everything sounds good. Yep, sounds good. <laughs> but, but it doesn't unless, always- Unless it gets western, then always... we'll have a, another video for <laughs> yeah. it. So. Yeah, hopefully uh, this is short ended. We shall see. Hope uh, Colorado Mike and Dusty can do it. All right, so this is the beginning of the burn unit, which they've been on here, part of their grazing plan for over a month now. We were actually getting ready to move them, but we had to move Dunbar first. So they're right over there. You can tell they're rubbing the fence. We'll go in here. Big pecan tree right here. Mike's gonna shut the gate. some storms limbs fell down looks like i need to bring the skid steer so right here you would have put a gate right here so this is where we start and this is where our neighbor is here this is his patch this is where the bison currently are but this is why you put gates up because right now we would just open this or we would push them bait them something to get in the corner but we're gonna have to cut a fence instead so here's the main herd already And you don't want them trying to, get, oh, there's Haas. They're making their way over here. See, this would be perfect. They're coming to a corner right now. And, uh, oh, this sucks. Yeah. It's like, where do you cut the fence at? Some of this fence is good, but to get them back in here, we're gonna have to cut it. Cause see, she's like freaking out. That's Belle. And if she's got, a, surely she wouldn't have a calf over there. Oh, I don't want to cut this, but we're going to have to, Mike. Um, let's just cut it real quick. Yeah. It's worth cutting it and repairing it to get them back in. Do you want the honors? Big Joe's going to come say hi. Whatever you need. Yeah. Where do you want to cut it? You know, Kevin... And my friend Mud would probably tell me there's a proper way to do this, but I would say maybe in the middle okay. so that when we go to patch it, we just yep. can patch it up. Um, watch it pop, pop back to you here. Yeah. Watch it come in loose, Mike. There you go. Colorado Mike. Doesn't feel right, does it? 
does not. Okay, now here's the thing is uh, we've got to get these guys occupied, so we're going to open this fence um, and try to get them with cubes. Woo, come on. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to, hey, whoa, we should, don't let them go through there if you can. TV, stay safe. Here, Big Joe. Come on. Woo! Come over here, Mike. Drive over here. Woo! Woo! Come on. Come on. Woo! Woo! Sorry, it's shaky, guys. I'm trying to do all this three-handed. Woo! I see a couple coming through. Woo! Easy. Easy. Woo! Woo! Come on! Come on! We're going to stretch them out here as far as we can. Come on! some a little over half the herds here but some are strung out over here Woo! come on i don't know where they went there's one come on I'm talking. Oh, I see some running. Just hold still, Mike. Mike. Yeah. Woo! Huh? Uh, can you, what do you want to do? Do you want to drive the ATV to go get them or do you want to sit here and keep them? They know you better than me, so they might. They might they okay, you that. stay here and do not let them back through and I'll just holler at you. I'll just say, hey, they're coming, whatever, okay. but get, shoo, shoo. Yep, okay. I'll just yell at you, okay. see if I can push them. I don't know if it'll I work. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, I see him. Woo! 
Come on. Come on. Let me try to get them back. Whew. Yep. Come on! Woo! Woo! Scare her back. Scare her back. Woo! Woo! Come on! That's why I need the feed truck. Hey, you just split the... Yeah, just hang out right there. You take that side. Come on! Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. Split the difference here and we'll <clears throat> come on. Back. Woo! Come on, girls. Come on. Hey, right here. Come on, ladies. Look, got the got it all open. The ones with the babies are gonna be a little sketchy. Come on. Come on. There's quite a few of them over there. Hold still, we got one coming. Come on, get back. Hang tight right here. If we get one, we'll get, she'll get some more. They're all about to come in. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Oh! They're gonna try again. <sighs> this is gonna be harder than I thought. I don't know if it seems to you guys, but these uh, bison are getting a little bit antsy and ready to move. Is all what I think anyways. They are uh, ready to get out of the burning. I'm not sure why, because there is still so much grass in the burn unit, it's crazy. Mike and I definitely have our work cut out for us. We're gonna take a little break, evaluate, and uh, put a game plan together and go try to catch all these bison. Also wanna give a big thanks to Fabric by Gerber Life for sponsoring today's video. Believing in our ranch, believing in our family, and what we do here. Guys, don't forget, join thousands of the parents who trust Fabric to protect their family. You can start investing in your child or grandchild today at meatfabric.com slash bison. Here's the link right here. Take a look at it or link in the description right here. Meatfabric.com slash bison. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll keep on bison ranching. See you guys soon.